we have come to Legoland Windsor for Junior Builders Week. So we'll show you what we get up to. We're going to be staying in the Castle Hotel. So we're just walking along the boardwalk to Don't find it. Look. What's Don't that? Look, 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 what's that? Oh, it's a peacock showing his feathers. We would really recommend staying at the Castle Hotel over the main one. You get to enjoy all the same facilities at the main hotel, but then you can come away and just escape into this magical world of knights and wizards. Yeah. And yeah, it was great to have the two yeah. different options of the hotels. So yeah, really rate the, the castle one. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name's Joy and I'm a mum of two little boys. And we have come out on a little half term break to the Lego Hotel. And this is the night themed room in the castle hotel. There's two hotels at Legoland and this is the castle one and we're in a night room and it is amazing so let me show you around i post here every week about mum life minimalism vlogs and all of that sort of thing so if you're interested please do subscribe and let me show you legoland in half term so this is the layout of the family rooms the boys had a bunk bed and there is a third trundle bed underneath so you can fit three kids which is great they had a little playstation and some lego bricks and this little safe here, which I'll show you in a minute. And then the rooms are sort of divided by the bathroom, which is great. And it's all so themed. It's really amazing. They've got such attention to detail. And then this is the main room with tea and coffee and everything. So yeah, really, really lovely. So there's a little treasure hunt in every room. So we're gonna try and do the night one. Right, so boys. Every night, dreams of visiting the secret treasure room. To unlock the doors, you need the magical golden keys. Can you count how many of these are hidden in your room? How many golden, golden keys, keys are hidden in your room? Do you think, do you think there might be one here? One key here? So where are some others? We need to find the rest. There's one That's there, one. yeah. Where's the rest? Do you want to jump down? Yeah. Have a look around and find them. So how many arrows did they manage to get in the target? Two arrows in the target. Izzy, yeah. come have a look here. Right, should we crack the code? Come give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. Right, Elias, can you give me a hand? Yeah. Open it up. Yeah. It's in here. Oh, is there some treasure in there? What's in there? Do you think they're a present for you each? This one's mine. Wow, that Wait, one's yours. This the one I have is mine. Yeah, look what you've got. A piece. Yeah. What you've got, what's in there? Yeah. Wow, some Lego. <gasps> wow, that's awesome. A little Lego. And a lanyard. <gasps> That's amazing. Wow, what's that? Is that a medal? Wow, Izzy, what have you got there? That's amazing. Open this box. Oh, you want to open your Lego? Look, I got this. Wow. Is this the best hotel ever? Yeah. You can check into your rooms at three, but you're welcome to come to the hotel as soon as it opens. So we'd been there most of the day, been swimming, enjoying, they've got a pirate pool in the main hotel. And yeah, I didn't film in there because obviously the other kids are around, but we decided we just needed a bit of time to chill and relax. And there's so much going on in the rooms. So we spent a bit of time building Lego and hanging out. definitely worth spending some time going around and investigating the hotels so there's so many little interactive moments and because we'd come for junior builders week there was lots of activities that had been put on specially so there were ball pits everywhere just full of lego that the kids could dive in and out of and they were building this whole 
Lego City. Every day it was a new city emerged. And then we spent a lot of time swimming. The pool was the place that the boys wanted to be. Um, it's pirate themed and there were like floating Lego bricks and a little slide. It's quite small, but it was good fun. And for our age kids, just what you need. We just come out to get some food. Trying out the Bricks Hotel restaurant. So they have run out of tomato ketchup. Oh dear. Isn't it? Out tomato ketchup. The food was great but expensive. Look, the ketchup did it magically grow or did mummy swap it? Oh my God. <laughs> so there were lots of different character meets as well. Um, this is Emmett from the Lego movie. The boys really loved it. I think they weren't quite sure what to make them at the beginning, but as they saw more, they got really on board. This is meeting a massive red Lego brick. Um, and there's all sorts of different things going on. I think you could have posed for photos with them, but we just bumped into them as the day went on. They had a cinema room set up while we were there. So we stayed and watched the Lego Aquaman film, just gave the boys chance to chill out and have a break because there was quite a lot going on and then in the evening they put on a magic show which yeah might not have been the greatest but it entertained the kids and that's what this kind of holiday is all about the coloring books now i know a magic word works for making things disappear but if i want to make things up here the boardwalk at night was so pretty and it was really nice to kind of make that break from the main hotel for all the activities going on and actually just get a bit of a change of pace and a change of scenery going back to the castle so yeah really recommend staying at the castle because you get to enjoy both get some yeah. Yeah. that's a big get lions where's he gone <laughs> And for supper, we came to try the Tavern restaurant, which we would really recommend. Yeah, we had a great time here. Yeah. That's all right, now you can do. Bye. There you go, buddy. Isn't that cool? Wow, what do you say, Liam? Wow. Now, would you like a sword as well? Yeah. Yeah, the sword. Wow. Say a big thank you. Say oh, thank, thank you. Fantastic evening here. Thanks. Thank you very much. I enjoyed you. And then it was just a short walk back up to our room for the night. As is always the way on holiday with the excitement of a new room and place, the boys were up really early so we had a bit of time before we went down for breakfast. And at breakfast, which was kind of a buffet, we got to meet the jester. Okay, see? Jester, get a high five. Good job. <laughs> Take a photo. And then it was time again to head back to the swimming pool. So it has little time slots for an hour. If you want to go to the pool at the main hotel, you kind of book that in advance. And it was quite nice because we didn't spend all day there. It kind of gave us a bit more structure. So we came out and just played in the Lego pits. just come up to the Lego shop that's at the actual park entrance but because the park's closed it's like eerily quiet it's a really surreal experience but yeah we're gonna go see what's in the shop the boys were really good we managed to leave without buying anything and 
it was just a nice way to finish the holiday. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed just seeing a little glimpse inside the Lego Hotel. And if you're thinking of going, I definitely recommend it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.